how to create CG templates. To do that, uh, we should use CG Editor Lite application. Uh, in this playout system, you can use uh, CG templates and graphics at basically at two ways. One is manual and simple, and another one is fully automated graphics, which can be run uh, from the playlist and from so-called macro CG group of commands. Uh, in this tutorial, I will explain you how to create basic logo template and also how to create a uh, template which can be used as a general graphics. To create new template, it is enough to press new button in template group. So press new and new template will automatically appear in the list. Next step, uh, please rename template. In our case, it will be new logo one. And finally, uh, it is most important to choose proper template type. Uh, double click on type drop down and you will see all offered types. The first one is graphics. Uh, graphics tab templates are, are made for manual use and all graphics templates will be visible in remote in CG control group. Uh, and then you can manually play and clear uh, these templates from, from the air. Uh, the next one is logo type, and logo is made for logo insertion. And all logo types are visible in, for example, general settings. Uh, so here you can choose which logo template is main logo for your channel. Uh, next, uh, now next, next up and promo templates are made for branding optimization. Uh, to, uh, using these templates, you will be able to show now next graphics, uh, next up graphics, promo graphics to promote something which will be on air later tonight or maybe even tomorrow. Music types are made for music titles. And finally, lower thirds are made for manual use and uh, to make signatures during the live show. All these lower thirds templates are visible in uh, remote also. In our case, we will choose logo type because we need to create a new logo for our channel. Next, on the left side, you can see in items library all available objects which can be dragged on the screen. So uh, now I will drag image object. Then I will just choose PNG or JPEG picture for our logo. Then you can drag it on the screen or you can use basic props and manually set uh, X, Y, position uh, and also size uh, of, of this current picture. Please note uh, this, that, that most important uh, parameter for text files, for images or for video file are scale type. Uh, for example, I will uh, set size of this current object to be 600 pixels, for example. Uh, if I choose no scale mode, uh, I will just keep original properties from, from uh, picture. Uh, but uh, then I can use, uh, for example, shrink to fit aspect ratio. In, in, and if I um, increase uh, height of the objects, then you will see that scaling will uh, affect final size of our object. So, uh, or something like this. So it is uh, most useful, useful scale mode is shrink to fit aspect ratio. Uh, then uh, you can use uh, shadow effect for picture objects. And finally, if I'm satisfied with current look of my template, uh, final step to make this CG template available by uh, remote and play out is to publish templates to database. Uh, notice DB column in template list and only this template is not green. So after publishing, it will become green and immediately this template will become available, uh, for example, in general settings for our 
main channel logo. Now we will create a new template, which will be graphics type template. And uh, I just press a button new and I will put new name. It's, it will be new, for example, crawl one. And I will keep graphics template uh, for, for, for the current one. Uh, on the left side, uh, you can see uh, different objects which can be used. And now I will just create my crawl object. Uh, crawl object, object is crawling text and uh, the first necessary step is to set up size uh, and all other crawl parameters. Uh, just click on basic props and place uh, this crawl on zero position. Uh, keep uh, vertical position as you wish and size should be set as full HD 1920 and uh, after selection of each object, uh, appropriate tab is immediately open. So for this current crawl, you're able to enter uh, additional text, for example. For example, second line of text, press enter, then third line of text. And also for each line, you're able to set leading picture or so-called divider. Uh, after installation, you will see that uh, our uh, product logo is uh, already installed as a default divider. So just select all three lines and choose a divider from the divider drop down menu. So after clicking, uh, clicking outside of this drop down menu, uh, divider picture will be applied to each line of text. Uh, next, uh, I will show you which kind of objects you actually can use in your graphics templates. Uh, the first one is uh, simple text. Simple text is just a text. Uh, again, it is necessary to manually enter size for this object and limit uh, uh, total size of text line and uh, our playout and CG engine will be able to shrink or uh, place your text uh, exactly at wished uh, position and wished size. So I will just put uh, 700 pixel for, uh, pixels for example. Then uh, I can change this text. Also, I can link these text objects for Unicode text file, normal text file in Windows. And also, uh, I can make this link as active and activate animation. So every time when you change a uh, uh, text file, uh, the, the content of this field in, in, in on air will be changed. For example, I will show you quickly. Uh, so I will choose uh, uh, also after installation, you will notice that you have uh, ES5 Flight CG content. So I will just use this uh, existing uh, text field, which is a little bit large. So what I need to do, I just need to uh, activate wrap text. And also I need to resize this uh, vertical size of the object. So I will put 400 pixel for, for example, not 4000, 400 is much better. Then I can uh, choose font size and uh, also the color of the text. So let's do it like this. And please notice if I uh, activate uh, if I activate link change animation and in if I try to change this text just hold on for a second something like this so I will open it in my my editor and if I change anything this is change and just save this file, you will notice this change immediately on screen. And also in air, if CG template is uh, played by, by playout application. Uh, next, uh, related to images. Uh, for images also, uh, you're able to link images and to monitor 
uh, change of the original file. So if you use some image in your template, and uh, if you overwrite this image for, from Photoshop, for example, this image can be updated on air dynamically. After placing of objects on appropriate place, uh, then uh, next important feature is to uh, limit and to decide how objects appear in, in the air. So uh, to change these parameters, we need to choose animation tab. So uh, for example, I would like to have this picture flying from left side and going to left side when uh, CG template is cleared. So uh, I can choose basics uh, in animation control. So I will choose move from left and on hide move to left again. Uh, then I can decide how long this animation uh, should be. For example, 700 milliseconds. Please note that all these values are in milliseconds because this will allow you to synchronize uh, pictures and text object uh, with some background video. So uh, uh, in any moment, uh, you're able to uh, preview this animation using preview button. So I will try it uh, right now. So you can see that a picture goes from left side and uh, 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 in the moment when the CG template is, is, is hide, the picture will go, will go on left side again. Uh, another, maybe most important parameter is uh, time blending. Time blending will allow you to limit duration of each object on air. So, for example, I would like to have this picture on screen uh, for just uh, two seconds, 2000 milliseconds, and uh, I need to activate time blending for current object. When I press preview again, you will see that object appears and after two seconds goes away. So this is uh, important for templates like Now Next, uh, Next Up, Promo, Music Title and Lavater template because this will allow you to limit duration and synchronize uh, text and picture objects with, with uh, some background uh, video, for example. Uh, just a note, uh, you are able to drag video files on our template also and uh, in, uh, after installation you can find uh, QuickTime animation transparent uh, video files with alpha uh, so uh, you can use it for your demo and uh, for uh, video files you can set uh, uh, also linking and, and monitoring of change and also uh, uh, most important you can choose uh, should you play video files in loop or just once. Finally, uh, using animation reset uh, button in preview control, uh, you are able to restore original position. So our missing picture will appear again if I just click reset and this will allow you to uh, activate preview again, something like this. So reset again and we will have all our objects on screen uh, like uh, they are showed in uh, initial position. Uh, finally, uh, I will show you the last possibility. Uh, this is playlist squeeze object uh, and I will just drag this object to to the screen and what will uh, object allow us on what what this object with, 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 will actually do uh, this uh, special object object is a command for play out to squeeze playlist to this position uh, again you're uh, able to to choose any size so i can just put something really small something like 640 by uh, I don't know anything 400 pixel and just tell uh, to play out please squeeze original background playlist to this position.
uh, again, when you click on Playlist Quiz Object, this, this will give you uh, ability to put some additional uh, parameters. For example, you can choose uh, borders in pixels. Uh, you are able to choose uh, border color. And uh, very important, you are able to choose background uh, general background for your graphics template. So now I will just choose uh, one of my existing pictures. Uh, after installation you will have some JPEG backgrounds. Uh, and uh, this is, for example, final look of our template. So uh, now I will show you how to play this basic graphics template. So you are able to do it like this. First, remember, uh, to be able to play any CG template, it must be published. So I will just publish this template. And then I will go to Remote, go to CG Control, refresh my existing template and see my new new Crawl 1 template. So uh, with basic way, it is enough to just play uh, template on air using play button. something like this and also you're able to clear this uh, template from the screen uh, again uh, you're able to activate uh, templates in the list uh, using uh, commands for example I can choose graphics start template and from the drop-down list choose my new crawl one template and then I will immediately have this uh, CG template on air after this uh, first clip on the list. Please watch our next tutorial, uh, Advanced CG Graphics, uh, and this will allow you to fully use our CG and automate CG templates, uh, templates using CG macro commands. Mm -hmm.